Hello, welcome to this Typing Adventure tutorial. Today we're going to look at Typing Adventure groups. In a previous tutorial, I mentioned that the Typing Adventure games, while very motivating, might not be the most appropriate thing for our early Typing Adventure users because they're just learning the home row. And the Typing Adventure games require students to type out words. So, you know, words require all sorts of different keystrokes that our students haven't learned yet. So it makes sense to set up two groups. Have a group with a no games rule and have another group that allows games after students have attained a certain level in typing adventure. So once you've completed all of the uh, keystroke lessons, then you can have games unlocked. And that might be an additional motivator for students to go home and work through all those lessons. So let's set up some groups. From the teacher's start page, I'm going to click on manage groups. By default, you have no groups. So let's create our first group by clicking add new on the right side. And I'm gonna call this group the no games group. And I'm gonna give it a description. Say something like, you must achieve to lesson 21 before you play the games. And now underneath it says practice by default, and that's fine because we don't have any custom practice uh, lessons created. Games I'm going to lock because I don't want them playing the games until they've reached lesson 21. And we're not using messages right now, so I'm going to leave that on. Uh, checked and I'll insert that group and just like I created the no games group I'm going to create a games group all right you've reached lesson 21 have fun and we're going to unlock the games in this group. So now we have two groups, a games and a no games group with different game rules. Now if you go back to home and you click on manage users, I can select a student that is still progressing through the lessons. In this case I'm going to select two of my three students and I'm going to move them into the No Games group. So I click on the Move button after I've checked the students off. And I'm going to select the No Games group and I'll move them into this more restrictive category. Okay, so now both of these students are in my No Games group. And I'm going to uncheck those students and check the student that I want to move into the Games group. So I click on my student, I click move. I'm going to move this student to the games group. Okay, very good. Now when I hit refresh, I'll actually see that they're in the correct groups. Uh, this is not uh, just because you've put in the description that they have to attain level uh, lesson 21. You still have to do it manually. So your students can tell you when they've reached Lesson 21. You can then check it and move them. Um, but you'll have to physically move them from one group to the other. Now, how did I know Lesson 21 was the way to go? Well, you can click on Customize from the Home panel. And there's all sorts of different things that you can customize inside of Typing Adventure. If I click Customize Lessons, you'll actually see the lessons that uh, Typing Adventure has to offer. And after Lesson 21, you get into the special characters. So if they get to Lesson 21, I think games are a perfect reward. I hope this was a useful tutorial, and have fun with Typing Adventure.